All right, everybody. Tonight we are making trash can nachos. This is one of my boys and, well, all my kids really, one of their favorite meals. What you're going to need, we're doing a five pound container of um, ground beef. You may just use a couple pounds. Um, we'll use five pounds <clears throat> just because there's so many of us. So let me grab a knife. We're gonna go ahead. Ooh, that's kind of gross. We're gonna go ahead and get this meat cooking. I got a big old pot. My hands are clean too, so got a big old pot. We're gonna cook it on about a four to a five. So medium medium high until all the meat's brown. Make sure it's in there. I wash my hands. this from a friend's pampered chef thing this thing is awesome it's like a little hamburger stir doohickey so we'll use that we're going to turn the heat up all right for your other ingredients you're going to need the um Velveeta queso blanco i have used the nice and cheesy from kroger it already has jalapeno peppers added to it um this is all they had so we're gonna do this. You're going to need a saucepan for this. <clears throat> okay, right here. So what we're going to do, just going to open it up. We're going to use the whole block. That's a whole lot of queso. Actually, I'm going to use this pan over here. one can of diced green chilies. I'm just gonna pour that in the little pan with the cheese. <coughs> You can use heavy whipping cream. You can use regular milk, um, whatever, just to kind of help. You know, it melts with the cheese and the peppers and it's not so thick. I'm gonna do, looks like there's 16 ounces in here. I'm gonna pour about eight and then just watch the consistency. <clears throat> also have a can of black beans. This is the big can like about 26 ounces so we're gonna go ahead and open those up put them in this cup that's easy ain't it so anything okay just gonna get those heated up <clears throat> gonna need a can this is where we get um trash can nachos from this is from a big old can of green beans that um my family used probably at thanksgiving anyway you can use it from i think they have them the pinto beans whatever you just need to save the can wash it out real good and then that is going to be used when we assemble our nachos i'm going to set it over here to the side <clears throat> i've got my pico We've got some cilantro on the top. I've 
I've got sour cream, which we'll use when we do this. Oh, ah! And then for us, we'll for sure eat one bag of chips with ours because normally we make two cans full because there's seven that eat here. So whatever your family needs, then you can adjust this to their to their needs. I'm just gonna put these over here. <clears throat> four to five. This isn't cast iron, so I don't worry about things burning so much. I'm going to open the back door. Because it is kind of hot in my house. All right, something else. this Cholula hot sauce. This is one of our family favorites. Um, I'm just going to put a couple shakes of it in this cheese sauce because my family absolutely loves it. And that was more than a couple shakes. And also, <clears throat> if you don't have taco seasoning, don't freak out. I do have some, however, if you don't, you can season your ground beef after you've drained it. You can put in um, a couple tablespoons of cumin. You can add a couple tablespoons of paprika. My kids are out there playing basketball, you can hear. You can do um, some Cholula and a little bit of garlic powder, salt and pepper, and that will season it up nicely. So, I got this big old roll of beef cooking in here. And this thing is so awesome because it's spiral. So you just kind of get in there and stir it up. Take care of business. I'm just gonna get it all good and brown. And then we'll drain it, season it, and assemble. Our nachos. Our beans are warming and <clears throat> the cheese is starting to melt a little bit. You can use chicken also. I've done that before um, instead of beef if you don't have ground beef. You can just take your chicken and season it with taco seasoning after it's fully cooked and then just kind of Chop it up into little pieces, get it seasoned up real good. And then after that, um, you can just assemble it with chicken and cheese instead of using the beef. Sometimes I do both. Um, for some reason, my boys and even Isabella, um, they all tend to like the ground beef a little bit better. If you have this on hand, <coughs> After you drain your ground beef, these are just minced onions. I get them at Aldi. It's like 97 cents for a little container. These right here are good to have in a pinch. Um, everywhere was out of onions this week. I finally did get some, but if you keep these on hand, you can season anything um, that you would normally season with onions with this. It's, it's a good deal. Anything that you really want in your trash can nachos, you can add to it. Um, I know what my family likes and what we like to add. If we've got lettuce and tomato, we can do that. But the pico honestly has all those things in it. <clears throat> my husband calls these big roll of hamburger dirty burgers. I'm going to tell you why. It's probably not nice, but we seen somebody at Walmart a while back and they were dirty and they had some rolls of this and their little buggy from Walmart and so 
I think later we might have even seen a meme on Facebook that it said dirty burgers. <clears throat> so I'm not ashamed to eat dirty burgers. Um, the hospital was so gracious to sell us this ground beef. And so I'm thankful. Um, and we'll pray before we eat it that God would bless it. That's what we do anyway, right? We just got to trust it. The good Lord's going to bless it for the nourishment of our bodies and our bodies for his service. So there you go. My beans, I'm going to turn them down to about a three. <clears throat> and then we're just still over here melting the cheese. around in the backyard I had um, <clears throat> about 14 little little hens that have outgrown their brooder that's in my laundry room and they were flying out so um, don't worry it's contained away from the main part of the house but you got to keep them under a heat lamp for a while <clears throat> so it goes a little easy she just made her debut, her TV debut. So anyway, I had to go out there and get the other part of the chicken coop all ready so that they could come out there and the big hens wouldn't beat them up. You know, they've got to establish their little pecking order. So that's what I did today. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I have, I think there's seven little banny chicks and they're teeny, they're so little. But with them, they moved to the bigger brooder. So they're still in the laundry room. They still need the heat lamp for another few weeks. Um, I think it's until they're fully feathered. You have to keep them inside. So <clears throat> that is what I have been doing today. Just working out in the chicken coops and kind of fiddling around in the yard. We did a little bit of homeschool this morning. You guys are going to be so surprised at how easy this is. <clears throat> I think the hardest part is assembling it and it's staying the way that you want it to because I like for it to look a certain way. This child's come back through the house again. Izzy, what are you doing? She's filling up her little water bottle. We're getting there with the beef. We'll drain it in a few and then go from there. And the cheese is melting up nicely. You gotta do this kind of low and slow because you surely to goodness don't wanna burn your cheese. It'll be nasty. This is kind of get the cheese is the glue that holds it together. <clears throat> Y'all, it was 80 degrees today. What about where y'all were? You hear my little kitty cat? Hey, kitty. He's out there scratching his head on the post. I don't think you can see him, but he wants me to come pet him. There he, oh. He was scratching his little head on the post, like, come pet me. He's so cute. If you're watching, Lori, that's from your, that's from your place, Little Figaro. That's what we call him. He's the cutest little cat. <clears throat> All right, the cheese is melting nicely. It smells amazing. The green chilies add just a hint of, uh, just a little spiciness to it. If you get the nice and cheesy though from Kroger, again, it's already got jalapeno in it, so you may not wanna add the extra green chilies. I always do add the extra green chilies. <clears throat> 
the reason I do is because my children, my husband, they like spicy things. So, um, we just do it. Got a little bit of taco seasoning. Again, and onions. We're going to do that after this meat is browned. I'm going to brown it, drain the grease. season it and then we can assemble our trash can nachos. I think I've made this for a few of Dawson's friends from the basketball team before. They saw it on Facebook a year or so ago and they asked me if I would make it. And so I did and it was a big hit with them. I wish y'all could really just see how, how this thing breaks this meat up. It's still kind of frozen in the middle, so. I don't want to splatter myself. Covered up my lunch lady arms today. We're getting there. We are getting there. So honestly, at this point, the beans are heated up. So I'm just gonna turn them to a low kind of simmer. <clears throat> the cheese is almost entirely melted. I'm gonna add a little bit more Cholula to it. Just because I like it. It's kind of thick. Like I said, I used about eight ounces of that heavy cream. You don't want to bring this to a boil because you are cooking with heavy cream. If it's regular milk, it's not really a big deal, but I'm probably gonna add about three, maybe three more ounces of that. Let me see. Again, you want it to be thick enough to hold it together. But you don't want it to be um, thin so that it's not, and actually, i add a little bit more. That's probably just right. So I probably used 12 out of 16. Ooh, oh, did you see that? I just splashed myself with that mess. Ow, dang, that was hot. Let me clean up myself. crazy. It's getting crazy in here now. Okay. All right. So I'm going to turn the cheese down now because I'm all melted. Spirit told us to stop. Well, then we'll shake our holes are never big enough either. So I just shake and shake. This one's low sodium, so don't be judging. And then we add a little water. Just gonna add a little bit of water to that. Good. 
need a little bit more seasoning. Not very much left in there. First one I'm going to do for the children, and they don't want pico, I'm sure. They'll add sour cream if they want it. They're basically just meat, chips, cheese, maybe a few black beans. So, here's what you do. Open the chips up. Can nachos are not a good food if you're social distancing. This ladle is probably one quarter of a cup, so I put three ladles of the cheese in there. Notice I got a clean thing to scoop out the beef. Put a little beef in there. A little beef. Now the beans are going to have a little liquid in them, so just kind of let that drain a little bit, just a little bit of beans. And then you're going to start over again. What we're doing is we're layering. Just a little bit of beans. Put some more chips in there, kind of smush them down. We're going to do more cheese. Hey, baby. Tell the kids they might want to come wash their hands because their nachos will be ready in a minute. Gonna do the cheese. A little more beef. Little beans. And again, chips. So, each time I add a little bit more chips, smush them down. Hold on, he didn't hear me. Hey guys, y'all probably want to wash your hands. I'm wrapping up and your food's going to be done. He just called me Ange. So the last layer was chips. Do more cheese. And it's really, it's like, it turns to concrete, kinda. And do some more meat. The can gets really hot, so be careful. Beans 
things for them. They don't care for a whole, whole lot. You'll see when I make mine and Jason's, it's a little different. chip on it. All right, this is going to be the last for them. Lord, them children go eat all my cheese and I won't have any from myself. Um, okay, here's where it gets fun. And I want you to see it. it may not turn out at all. I'm going to give them a little more chip. A little more chips for the children. A little more cheese. And then I'll give them the chips that's left in that bag. That way, they can sop it up. Okay, I think we're almost ready. Let me just call them. Hey, I'm about to turn this can up. Are you guys going to come and eat? Go through the front and wash your hands. Okay. I'm going to give them a little more meat. I feel sorry for them. They might be hungry. Okay, that's it. people <laughs> this is either gonna be fun or not so I've got my can actually oh that's hot I'm gonna do this kind of like a pineapple upside down cake yo that is hot okay so we're gonna let it sit here for just a second I want you to see The children aren't in yet. They're not listening. They can be hungry. Okay. Trying to wait for them to come in so this will be all good and fresh. See, everything is still in the can. Children! Okay, well, let me just do it. What you do is you just gently pull it up, and they are not going to stay that high. But you pull it up, you've got your trash can nachos. Yay! Okay. Last time, gonna do mine and Jason's now. Here, let them have these chips. It's on video. Mm -hmm. What's he doing? It's coronavirus time. He's coming through here, licking his finger, like. Like we're safe or something. What in the world? Woo. All right. Let's see. Let me do my cheese. So I'll do mine and his just a little different. <coughs> Moochie's gonna get him. The video's on. The little shortless shirtless children. <laughs> Wash your hands. 
about to hear some action. Are you recording? The video, yes. So I like to layer ours up like this. Hey Dawson, after your hands are clean, will you bring me another spoon? Y'all's is in there. You have extra chips. Thank you. So if I had my homemade salsa, I would do that. Do you have salsa? Mm, I don't have any of mine, baby. Oh, sorry. But y'all's is in there. Make sure Thank you. you bless it. You're do welcome. you need another spoon? Nope, I'm good. Thanks, though. Is it good, baby? Okay. So that's what we're doing. We're just layering it up. I'll get a picture of my little children in there. I'm hungry. Layer it up. The kids are being loud. That would true, my mom. Yeah. Getting all this cheese. Hey, this is on my video. Hold on. Okay. We got that. My cilantro. No, bro. So Pico. Layer it up. Like and subscribe. Uh, Merge is in the bio. Hey, that's weird, baby. Some sour cream again. Isaac will actually probably eat this one too. Put this stuff on mine. Mm, yeah. Put this on that. Okay, you can you can have some pico, but can I? No. Yes. Okay. What? I don't want. I'm gonna take a picture of y'all eating. Did y'all play? I better thank the Lord. Okay, almost done. You need a big plate if you haven't noticed. Got you a plate, Dawson. Last of the cheese. If you don't want all this cheese, you can use it for cheese dip. It's good. has meat on it where it fell. What's the difference between this one now? This one has pico sour cream and all the other stuff on it. to the top and there you have it trash can nachos hope you enjoy